that's what we are working for. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for all of you putting in your best. Thank you. I believe eight minutes and soon we'll be starting. One minute to go. The countdown has begun already. And I see our moderator also, Zai, the, the two will be joining here. That's so nice. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Maybe we mute ourselves, all of us, and here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen from India. Uh, namaste from here to all the educators all around the globe. Uh, good morning, good evening, uh, and good afternoon to all of you. We start this conference. This is the Rise Up for SDGs 2021 collaborative project, and here we go and meet these honorable uh, panelists of the day. Our partners are United Nation Office of Drugs and Crime, SDG Chapal, Smart Sustain and Next School, project initiated by Paramjeet and facilitated by Rita Singh and Bush Rayanis Nakwi. A little bit about this project, International Collaborative Project, 901 educators from 48 countries are collaborating. 2,896 students globally are contributing their posters, rap songs, raps, artwork, articles, write-ups, videos. 10 editions of newsletter published with students' work. 69 panelists from 25 countries have participated in these 10 conferences which have been held till date, the 10th one being today. And ladies and gentlemen, we are growing. The duration is eight months, January to August. SDG Global Day celebration would be in September, a big, big celebration of sustainable development goals. Conference, 60 minutes only, virtual meet meeting every second and fourth Friday. And of course, the agenda is always SDG goals. On Friday 11th June 2021, we'll be deliberating on SDG 11 Sustainable Cities and Communities, and on Friday, 25th June 2021, we'll be deliberating on goal number 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. And ladies and gentlemen, today, Rise Up for SDGs has a very, very important and a very, very special guest, Mr. Samarth Patak, Communications Officer, South Asia at UNODC, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. Welcome, Mr. Samarth Patak. We have this young lady, Zahida Batur, our moderator, Deputy Director Planning, Kaide Azam Academy for Educational Development, Punjab, Lahore, Pakistan. MPhil in Linguistics, MBA, MBA, 20 years of experience, validated Master Trainer, British Council School Education Department, and Government of Punjab coordinating for capacity building of more than four lakhs public sector school teachers certified teaching knowledge test from University of Cambridge, Ambassador of UN Teachers DGs ENO, ENO national team members. Welcome. And we have a keynote speaker, Ms. Queenie Victor Chavez Mori from Piro, journalist, writer, and educator. Published 18 books exhibited in culture, contemporary world and culture development and wisdom events. Guest journalist in newspaper, Clavis de la Provincia, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Guest speaker for Radio Victoria, RBC, Santa Rosa, Latina and Modrena. Dedicated to research analysis and writing on local, national and international reality issues. First jury in a Brian Lincoln poetry contest member Swedish NGO Training Center. Welcome, Queenie. And for the first time, we are going to have a speaker who's going to speak in Spanish. 
And now we have this techno granny here, Ms. Futi Raja Gopala, former principal Paula Medibogo, primary school Limpopo, South Africa. Multi award winner, top 50 Global Teachers Prize 2017 Warke Foundation. Warke Foundation Ambassador, Skype Master Teacher and Fellow, initiated online reading clubs with international schools, initiated community food garden project to promote SDG 10 reduced inequalities. Welcome, dear Futi. And now we have this young girl, Ms. Harpreet Kaur from Kamala Nehru Public School, Pagwara, Punjab, India, BCA post graduation. Uh, she's an MBA, IT and international MBA. business. Five years experience, MI expert, 2021 Adobe certified educator. And she is going to uh, take us and show the newsletter to us. And now we have uh, a very, very beautiful Miss Vedrana Sarek. Crafts Industrial School, Zupanza, Croatia. Welcome, dear Vedrana, Masters of Economic Professor and Mentor, National Coordinator of the Magical Intercultural Friendship Network, a National Coordinator, ENO, Environmental Online, Organizer of International Tunnel, Talent for Global Empowerment by TCOA. Welcome, dear. And then we have this uh, young panelist, Ms. Padmini Maria Nayak. Didi Goenka Public School, Siliguri, West Bengal, India. Masters in English, Certified Google Educator, ISA Coordinator, seven plus years of experience in teaching English and social science. Recipients of the Global Teacher Award 2020. And she has prepared a virtual tour for us for the artwork of all our students. And then we have Ms. Daisy Paul, Principal Ryan International School, Sharjah, UAE with 28 years experience in teaching and mentoring children to develop 21st century skills. And she believes principals can't do it alone. Building a school is not about the bricks. It's about chiseling strong leaders by improving the strengths of the teachers and the potential of the children. Well said, Ms. Daisy Paul. And now I request our honorable special guest, Mr. Samath Patak, Communications Officer, South Asia at UNODC, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, to please take over and maybe hear from you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, esteemed. Am I audible? Yes. Okay, I think uh, these three words, am I audible, have become so standard these days. Uh, over the last year that uh, one is obliged to us. But uh, thank you very much, ma'am, and uh, esteemed educators, policymakers, experts, students, ladies and gentlemen uh, who have joined us today. A very good evening, good afternoon, good morning to all of you. Uh, I know we are in different time zones. Uh, first and foremost, I hope that all of you have been safe and well. I have just recovered from COVID-19 after being in complete isolation for over two weeks. Uh, so this is my first uh, dialogue with educators after almost two to three weeks, and I'm really excited to be here. But I wish to emphasize that uh, the virus takes a massive toll on the body, which is something I personally experience. And therefore, I wish all of you who are listening in today all the good health and complete protection from COVID-19. I am delighted to join all of you today to open this very important and special discussion on SDG 10, Reduced Inequality. My compliments to the always inspiring uh, Ms. Parampi Dillon and the entire team behind this innovative Rise Up for SDGs dialogue series which is also in support of UNODC's Global Education for Justice initiative. We are delighted to participate and engage in this very special series. And I call it special because of three reasons. One, because it marks the spirit of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is cooperation and joint action for peace and development. Two, because it it is focused on reimagining education to engage young people 
uh, on responsible citizenship and the rule of law, which is a need of the hour. And three, because it is being held in response to COVID-19, which has brought to the forefront unprecedented challenges to health and safety. The pandemic, as we have all seen by now, has posed serious threats, not only to human lives, but also to global economy, social dynamics, human rights, and overall security and stability of nations. However, the one thing that COVID-19 has clearly exposed are deep-rooted inequalities that exist in various spheres in our societies. We have seen startling inequalities of access, access to health, access to education, uh, digital divides in particular. So many students have not had opportunity to access online education despite efforts of uh, teachers, governments, and other stakeholders, access to support systems, access to even safe spaces. We have also witnessed inequalities of opportunity, opportunity to isolate separately, for instance, which is something that uh, is, is advised to all of us. But many people don't have the space to isolate themselves separately. Opportunity of getting the best medical treatment possible because of uh, the costs, because of uh, access again. Uh, opportunity of working and earning during the lockdown. Uh, so many of us have been working from home, but there are so many millions of people who have not had access to uh, work, any sort of work during the lockdowns that uh, have been imposed in different countries. We have also witnessed deep-rooted divides coming to the forefront during the uh, last year. Discrimination on the basis of color, on the basis of faith, nationality, etc. Gender inequalities, economic inequalities, among other things. And these inequalities have a disproportionate and clear impact on vulnerable groups, especially economically disadvantaged communities, women, children, and young people. As a result, issues such as gender-based violence, mental health, and social strife have emerged as key areas of concern. These are problems that are directly linked to the Sustainable Development Goals, especially SDG 10 on reduced inequalities. However, as, as we all know, SDGs are all interlinked with each other. And as with the other goals, SDG 10 itself has very strong interlinkages with other sustainable development goals as well. I would say SDG 1, no poverty, SDG 3, SDG 4, SDG 5, and very crucially, SDG 16, which is peace, justice, and strong institutions. Reducing inequalities in society is critical to foster peace and justice. At UNODC, we believe that education is a key ally in this quest where defending rights and promoting the rule of law uh, should be an essential life skill in crisis. And hence, young people need to be effectively engaged through education, which enables them to learn empathy respect diversity, and be able to recognize and challenge inequalities and discrimination that they see and observe in their daily lives around them. The key, I believe, is to enable young people to come to the forefront and take charge of the future they want to build, a future without discrimination, a future that, that addresses inequalities. In this context, I believe it is important to create an educational process that bridges digital, socioeconomic, and gender di divides and produces engaged and committed citizens, young citizens, for building an equitable, inclusive, and plural society. So the time has come to recalibrate our approach to education to effectively respond to some critical questions, questions such as, are we giving enough attention to inculcate a culture of lawfulness, a culture of peace by teaching ethics, empathy, and equality to students? Are the sustainable development goals effectively incorporated in the pedagogy? 
are we nurturing creativity and critical thinking among students to solve social problems to address inequalities and divides and emerge as responsible citizens these are very important questions and aspects that uh, unodc's flagship education for justice initiative seeks to address through this initiative we have been actively engaging with students and educators in schools and universities across the world in south asia a latest uh, example of success in this direction has been the lockdown learner series uh, which uh, has been conducted in india nepal and bhutan with the unodc lockdown learners initiative uh, we have been actively engaging young people and educators confined by covid-19 to activity based interactive learning on peace sdgs and the rule of law the series has placed a special emphasis on leaving no one behind and engaging economically disadvantaged groups in the context of covid-19 the series has, has enabled young people to learn about and use their skills to address challenges such as discrimination misinformation gender inequality cyber crime corruption and mental health among others uh, the series has received tremendous feedback from educators who are reporting behavior changes among students and students themselves have been doing a lot of work using their skills creating networks spreading awareness uh, spearheading initiatives on their own using music art and other mediums to sensitize communities and so forth so as we build back from the pandemic and reimagine the future i also wish to mention the following must dos for all of us as educators one to revisit and include peace justice and the sustainable development goals as a prominent theme in our education through values based interactive and activity centered learning two strengthening youth agency to co-create and ideate innovative solutions on the sdgs three nurturing responsible online and offline behaviors that promote the rule of law and gender equality four to enable and create channels and mediums through which access to online and offline education can be ensured seamlessly for all we must strive to leave no one behind in our efforts and exploring these very important thematic areas today's rise up for sdgs dialogue comes at a most opportune time i am delighted to see such innovative educators and experts from different parts of the globe joining in today i am confident that this dialogue will provide a food for thought to all stakeholders of education and justice uh, to pave the way forward Once again I welcome all of you and look forward to your active participation and inputs and continued support to this series as well as to efforts of UNODC in South Asia. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you Samarth. It was wonderful listening to you and we promise to build better. definitely we are going to keep in mind all the points that you have emphasized upon when we go back physically in the school presently of course online and now over to the moderator of the day zaida batul deputy director planning qaid e azam academy for education development punjab lahore pakistan over to you zaida to carry forward thank you very much ma'am and thank you mr samad for a very insightful discussion on sdg 10 now i'm going to invite our keynote speaker mr quenny victor who is going to share sdg 10 story of his school welcome mr quenny over to you sino muy un placer y muy agradecido este por haberse invitado a este evento internacional Eh, un fraternal abrazo a todos los que nos ven y nos escuchan por este medio. Eh, mi disertación va a estar enfocado en tres contextos de esta situación o de esta realidad global, ¿no? Eh, he considerado este tres temas fundamentales para entender este esta compleja realidad en el mundo. 
Primero, los retos para un mundo sostenible con justicia social. Claves para entender las desigualdades en el mundo. Soluciones para resolver las desigualdades en el mundo donde nos encontramos. Un mundo eh, muy complejo, lleno de vicisitudes, un mundo en el cual pues, no hay un entendimiento humano y eso genera pues, mucha conflictividad y mucho pues, este, desentendimiento humano. ¿no? Tenemos que aspirar para llegar pues, a soluciones conjuntas dentro de un contexto pues, social, político, económico y humano. Retos para, para un mundo sostenible con justicia social. Primer punto, y ahí voy avanzando otras temáticas. Promover el crecimiento económico con desarrollo, especialmente en los países en vía de desarrollo, para generar bienestar social. ¿no? Implementar una estrategia mundial para generar empleo pleno, pleno y digno, que sea sostenible, decente para todas y todos. Poner fin a la pobreza en todas sus manifestaciones, incluida la pobreza extrema, para promover sociedades más justas, libres y equitativas. Necesitamos hoy más que nunca en los países en vía de desarrollo impulsar una educación de excelencia y calidad, que, este, que esta nos conduzca a resolver problemas elementales y estructurales en cada sociedad convirtiendo así a la educación en un arma o un medio para generar desarrollo y bienestar social a todo nivel, en especial en los países en vía de desarrollo o llamados de tercer mundo. Poner fin al hambre y asegurar el acceso a todas las personas, en particular a los más pobres y a las personas en situación de vulnerabilidad, incluyendo los niños menores de un año a una alimentación sana, nutritiva y, y suficiente durante todo el año. Garantizar el acceso universal a los servicios de salud sexual y reproductiva, especialmente a las mujeres más pobres del mundo subdesarrollado o del tercer mundo. Desarrollar una alianza con equilibrio entre natalidad y crecimiento económico, porque en los países especialmente del tercer mundo ha habido hay un desnivel, la economía no crece o se estanca y la tasa de natalidad crece. Y ese desnivel también genera pues, ciertos desequilibrios netamente económicos. ¿no? Bueno, ese es un tema muy amplio que lo estoy reduciendo. Segundo aspecto, claves para entender la desigualdad en el mundo. Que es muy, muy complejo y, y lamentable, cifras muy escalofriantes. 1.400 millones de trabajadores en todo el mundo se encuentran en situación de empleo vulnerable. Más de 630 millones de, de, de millones en pobreza extrema en el mundo. La mitad, la mitad de la riqueza en el mundo, el 1% más ricos del mundo controlan la, la mitad de la riqueza en el mundo. 62 millones tienen, de, de personas tienen un patrimonio, 62, 62 familias tienen un patrimonio igual a la mitad de más pobres de la población de la Tierra. 16 grupos controlan casi todo el comercio de productos básicos como cereales, minerales, energía, tierra y agua. La, desigual, la, la desigualdad de ingreso entre los diferentes países del mundo sigue creciendo, incluso a pesar que el 40% de más pobres de los habitantes de la mayoría de los países no han logrado mejor, mejorar su situación socioeconómica. La riqueza de todo, de, total a nivel mundial ha alcanzado la asombrosa cifra de 255 mil billones de dólares. Desde el 2015, más de la mitad de esta riqueza está en manos de 1% de la población mundial. En el corto plazo, los beneficios de las grandes corporaciones se generan sobre la base de unos márgenes elevados o sea, de, de, de pobreza. ¿no? Es innegable que el modelo económico globalizado ha beneficiado principalmente a las personas más ricas, ¿no? o sea, a, un, a un pequeño segmento de la población. El 10% más rico gana hasta el 40% del ingreso mundial total.
Es sabido que la desigualdad está en aumento y que el 10% más rico de la población se queda con el 40% del ingreso anual total. A su vez, el 10% más pobre obtiene solo entre el 2 y 7% del ingreso total. En los países de desarrollo, desarrollo en vía de desarrollo, la desigualdad ha aumentado en un 11% si se considera el aumento de la población. Por otra parte, el 80% de la población mundial que vive en condiciones de extrema pobreza se encuentra en zonas rurales. En la actualidad, 8 de cada 10 personas que carecen de servicios básicos de agua potable viven en zonas rurales. Al, al igual que 7 de cada 10 personas que carecen de este servicio, Some challenges, I believe, there. Zaheda, continue. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Queni. Although it was in Spanish, uh, but thank you for sharing your thoughts on the challenges for a sustainable world with social justice and keys to understanding inequalities in the world. And the third point on which you spoke, that was solutions to solve inequalities. And now I'm going to invite Ms. Futi Ragufala, who is known as Techno Granny. So over to you, Ms. Futi Ragufala. Please share your story on SDG 10. I believe she's facing some challenges to join and Futi is not there. Can we move on to the next speaker, please? We have her in the end. She's trying all the while and we are in touch. Okay, ma'am. So our next speaker is Ms. Harpreet Kaur and she is going to show us the newsletter on SDG 10. So here comes Ms. Harpreet and her newsletter. Over to you, Ms. Harpreet. Good evening and namaste to everyone. Rise Up for SDG, an international collaborative project, has seen awesome contribution from students and educators around the world in its 10th episode. The targets of SDG 10 to reduce inequality is highlighted here. It gives me immense pleasure to share such an informative article by Ms. Paramjit Kaur Dhillan, the torch bearer of this international collaborative project. Our newsletter is segregated into five major sections. Section A is dedicated to community voice. Children along with their friends and families are sharing their thoughts on SDG 10, reduce inequalities. More than 58 videos has been received in this section. Section B has received an overwhelming response through egalitarian painting and outstanding artwork from students all over around the world. Let's walk through and admire these colorful creatives. Wow! Posters from Indirapuram Public School, Rock Tree Public School, students from Punlish SDG Goalkeeper, Gamla Nehru Public School, show their wonderful artwork on SDG 10 Reduce Inequality. These are the amazing posters from Radiant International School, India, Sarla Villa Gyan Jyoti Guwahati, Assam, India. We have awesome egalitarian paintings by the students of Sage Anandram Jaipuria School, Ghaziabad, Delhi, Public School, Varanasi, India, BBPS Dwarka, BBDAB Public School. Excellent work on SDG 10 Reduce Inequality by the students of PSGR Krishnamal Nursery and Primary School, Tamil Nadu, India. Amazing artwork by Shisha Sas International Public School, Tamil Nadu, India. Expressive posters from Bal Bharti Public School, SK Patrick Sabao Sabha, Malaysia, World Way International School. Moving to the Second volume of newsletter. Wow, what an outstanding creativity by the students of Golden Gate Global School, Muradabad, Uttar Pradesh, 
STS World School, Raj Gomal, India, Shamford Futuristic K-12 School, Aria, the Yenapoya School, Mangalore, India, Alcon International School, India, Funlish, India. Like to share with one and all that due to overwhelming re response received from students across the globe, we extended our newsletter to volume three. In this section C, student made inequality mask and inequality glasses showing cultural discrimination. They click selfies and share their creative photo stunt in the wakelet link. Wow, wonderful mask made by the students of SK Segamat Baru, Johar, Malaysia, Kamla Nehru Public School, Delhi Public School, Varanasi, India, BBPS, Dwarka, Delhi, India, Shisha Sass International Public School, Indirapuram Public School, Venkateshwar Global School, Rohini, New Delhi, India, Rotary Public School, Gurugram, Radiant International School, India, Golden Gate Global School, Moradabad, Uttar Pradesh. In this section D, students share their self-composed poems, stories, and paragraphs depicting real-time action on SDG 10 reduce inequality. We would love to compliment all these young SDG warriors for their contribution. These are the articles from the students of St. Anandram Jaipuria School, Delhi Public School, Varanasi, India, Bal Bharati Public School, Rohini, India, Shisha Sass International Public School, BPS Dwarka, Delhi, STS World School, Raj Kumar, India, Sarla Villa Gyan Jyoti, Assam, India, Funlish STG Goalkeeper, India, Rotary Public School. Here is one of the poster that we missed in our last newsletter. Section E is the educator section where the teachers share their views on promoting SDG 10, reduce inequality in the classroom. We may enjoy all the five sections by a wakelet link or QR code shared in our newsletter. We are deeply thankful to all the students and educators from school around the world who have wholeheartedly contributed to this newsletter. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Harpari Kaur, for showing us such a delightful contribution from the students. What an eye-catching contribution from the students in the form of not, not only in the form of art but the creative writings and you have also shared the teachers contribution in your newsletter thank you very much for sharing all these things now we move on to our next guest she is miss vedrana sarki and she is going to share her story on sdg 10 reduced inequalities so over to you miss vedrana yes yes hello there i am here uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Madame Parmait, uh, Kaur Delon, and Madame Swati uh, Baksu for invita invitation to this project. Sorry if I didn't pronounce the name well. Uh, I am Vedrana Sharec, uh, economics professor from Croatia, uh, 10 years experience in uh, school. Uh, with this presentation, I want to show how we celebrated International Day for tolerance in our school and uh, it uh, refers uh, to 10 sustainable development goals uh, just inequality uh, connection between uh, each winning project and uh, sustainable development 10 uh, humans are the only living crea uh, creatures on the planet uh, that uh, have the power to communicate with uh, each other throughout the world and that are the weavers of life they open many doors with nice words uh, and uh, during the, wo uh, the work on this project students will create weave a life full of joy happiness and love uh, with beautiful words um, 
the goal the goal is uh, to use beautiful words in uh, communication because uh, that is the only way for students uh, to grow in, into healthy and uh, positive people who spread empathy. Uh, this is poster in uh, dig Digital Tools uh, Canva. Uh, please, uh, next slide if possible. Thank you. Uh, this is a flower of tolerance. Uh, here uh, we can see uh, some words uh, which to, uh, my uh, some uh, students uh, make uh, and create uh, quality, peace, empathy, tolerance can and should be learned in uh, diversity uh, is beauty and strength. Uh, this is a day that reminds us of appreciation and respecting those uh, different from us. Please next, thank you. Uh, this uh, this is next uh, a carpet of beautiful words. Yes, please. Uh, peace. Yes, now. Uh, uh, sincerity. Happiness, a community, a gratitude, a goodness, respect, a diversity, love. And this is all together on one slide. This is this carpet. Yes, please, next. Uh, this is proverbs, uh, which uh, write on, uh, on uh, this, uh, this on our pin board. Uh, remember that everyone is different and in that everyone is the same. In the, uh, diversity is beauty and strength. Uh, love, uh, love is love. Love is the power to see uh, similar, uh, similarity in difference, uh, power in hidden in differences, not in similarities. Uh, allow yourself to be what you are and uh, to others what they mm -hmm. are. And the uh, degree of understanding is different for everyone. What I want to tell you uh, is worth as much as you can understand. This is Rumi. Thank you. Uh, and uh, in the end, uh, it, uh, that is our pin board uh, with uh, this uh, all works of my student. Uh, also, we celebrated uh, International, International Day uh, for Tolerance every year. Uh, and uh, in this year, uh, school year, we between uh, this uh, this day, this celebrated day, uh, with um, uh, internet, uh, with uh, e twinning project uh, in which uh, participate uh, nine countries. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Miss Vedrana. And what a great idea! to show the connection between the International Day of Tolerance and SDG 10. And I particularly like the idea of carpet of words. And then the flower of the tolerance was really, very beautiful. And as you said, you, you shared one of the proverbs that there is beauty in diversity. What a great saying that was. What a great uh, proverb that was. Thank you very much, Ms. Vedrana. Now I would like to get opportunity to invite Ms. Padmani Maria Nayak, who is going to show us the art gallery on SDG 10. So here is Ms. Padmani and her art gallery. Welcome to the virtual art gallery of SDG number 10, Reduced Inequalities. Let's walk through the halls of this amazing art gallery and be mesmerized. Presenting before you is a masterpieces from Seth Anandram Jaipuria School. Our screens are definitely vibrant and colorful. Thank you, dear educators from all around the world for instilling in our children the need for SDGs and to stand up towards against inequalities. Up next is VVDAV Public School, New Delhi. 
Kudos your educators and children. The Funish School in India has very enthusiastically presented their work on who they consider to be an egalitarian. Bal Bharti School has shared with us what they would like their society to be. Going through the halls of our gallery, we move south to PSGR Krishnamal Nursery and Primary School, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, India. Awesome collection by these students and sharing their views on reduced inequalities and their enthusiasm to fight for this noble cause. The masterpieces from Golden Gate Global School, India. Up next is Kamla Nehru Public School, Fagwara. Their enthusiastic artistic skills have been portrayed very beautifully through their artwork. These presentations definitely motivate us to work towards a sustainable future. Fantastic and amazing work, dear students and educators. Lord Buddha is definitely smiling down at us when we see the beautiful portraits from Rot Rotary Public School, Gurugram. SK St. Patrick, Tawa Sabah, Malaysia. The Yenapoya School, Mangalore, has shared with us some amazing portraits on who they consider to be an egalitarian. Bal Bharti Public School, Rohini. The amazing work of Delhi Public School, Varanasi, will surely blow your minds. The artistic skills are surely depicted through their artwork. Superb work, dear children and educators. Sri Shehaz International Public School, Salem, Tamil Nadu, India. Our screens are definitely beautiful and colorful. Indirapuram Public School, Delhi, has definitely made us very happy and energized through their masterpieces on goal number 10, reduced inequalities. Radiant International School has shared their fantastic work on goal number 10. The students are definitely very clear as to what they would want the society to be. Amazing work by Alcon International School, India. Our eyes are definitely sparkling looking at Sarla Birla Gyan Jyoti Gohati Assam's work. World Way International School, India. Thank you, dear students and teachers. Presenting works from ST World School, Rai Gopal, India. Venkateshwar Global School, Delhi, India. Genius International Public School, Punjab. Our little ones from Masters Playgroup, Abu Dhabi, UAE, Chicago, and Indiana have definitely worked and told us that they would want a society that's equal for all. Thank you, dear educators from around the world and your students for such an amazing contribution of words. And the words by our very own Paramjeet Ma'am. My heart goes out when we see the enthusiasm in the students' work. Every contribution is unique and I'm really short of words when it comes to praising and appreciation. I truly agree with you, ma'am. It's been an... Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Padni, for showing us such beautiful and eye-catching art gallery. 
and yes, you very rightly said yes that our eyes were sparkling while having a look on all these fantastic drawings from the students. And we were amazed to see such awesome creative work of the students that was full of color and what if great feast for eyes it was. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to invite Miss Daisy Paul, who is going to share her SDG 10 school story. So here comes Miss Daisy Paul. Now over to Thank you, Miss Daisy. You so Thank you so much. A very good evening and a very good morning to all our panelists here. Thank you for having me. Uh, I would like to begin by saying at Ryan International School Sharjah, we follow a 12 point vision along with the vision of the rulers of the UAE, where as part of the vision, we teach values and community transformation things to our children. And as a continuous endeavor to implement the vision, we have incorporated the SDG 10 goals in a curriculum to encourage dialogue between the students on the topics to reduce inequalities. We have asked the students to identify problems that are predominantly related to racism, gender inequality, cultural and religious inequality, and come up with solutions to reduce the same. I am quite sure the students identified these problems and related them to social structure in the society. They related them to inequality within sections of the society and led to more serious and grave issues like inequality on education, inequality in pay structures, gender stratification, poverty, poor access to nutrition, clear water and electricity. The core of the SDG 10 goals aided the students in understanding that every concern was heavily related to the other deprivation in one area would lead to a substantial effect in the availability of the other. So here in this slide number three, we have the students understanding that they are able to connect to the topic and in giving the importance of plantation as they related to educating people, not only on ways to grow plants, but also how afforestation in the long run promotes soil equality, abundance of natural resources. They came out with an application plant test to enable individuals to be able to take care of their plants by getting a real time update of the plant and providing necessary care for it. An endeavor by the students in this pandemic to ensure that afforestation is carried on. In the next slide, we can see that our students took up this particular initiative where they started teaching the housekeeping staff and the drivers in the school and the nannies on ways to make use of applications on their phones. They educated them on ways to use communication related applications. They taught them how to make their own email accounts. They taught them how to search for jobs online because most of them have lost their jobs. They taught them how to get navigate through the applications as they applied for a job. They also informed them about the global uh, you know, the government portals and how they could do a health and ID related services on Google account, Zoom ID and Google Meet. This was that the students were enabling or uh, doing their bit. In this slide, you can see that we have some of our school drivers who are sitting in a classroom. And this is again an initiative by the students where the local UAE language Arabic was being taught to the Indian and the Pakistani drivers, which would enable them to search for a job in UAE because the buses were no longer running and the, and the, and the uh, drivers needed employment, better source of livelihood, a chance at education for the family and the long run reduce, reducing poverty when the family structure was what we looked into. And that's the reason these Arabic classes were conducted by the teachers and the students together as part of the reduced inequalities. So here in these pictures, you can see our drivers. Some of the other initiatives involved students who came out with posters. And this is a student who is understanding the importance of maintaining a balance on the planet by promoting institutional arrangements, providing equal and fair access and use of natural resources for all. They presented posters, as you can see, on reduced inequalities, and they wanted this balance in creation of man-made structures as well as the maintaining resources present within nature. Let's see what one of the students has to say about her poster that she had Hello, made. Stars around the world. My name is Jessica and I'm from Ryan International School, Sharjah. And today I'll be showing you my drawing and explaining it to you all. So this is my drawing. It is related to goal number 10, which is reduced inequalities. Skin tone and gender stratification are seen in almost all countries. Fair skin tone people are given opportunities and sees this as a beauty target to occupy job. And dark skin tone people are often laid down to meaner jobs like back office works, thereby creating negativity 
among the people in a particular society, state, or even in a country. Wage gap linked to skin color has to be stopped and companies have to buy us beauty both in fair and dark skin tone. Both skin tone people has to be treated equally and even give them opportunities to work in front office or print lines. Thank you. Hello to all the shining stars around the world. So as you can see, that was a student talk, talking about the posters that she had made. There were some other problems related to racism and gender inequality that were discussed, as you can see in this picture. And students came out with, uh, you know, solutions saying that should, uh, people should not be treated or they should be treated equally. There should be gender equality and there should be no racism followed in various places and workplaces. In the few, in the few slides that I show you now, the same problems like gender inequality and culture and religious inequality problem number two. The next slide would show you about discussions on cultural and religious inequality, which was also discussed amongst the students. And students came out with solutions saying that all these people in society should be given equal standards and they should be maintained with, uh, this is another slide showing you another problem which was being discussed related, related to racism and gender inequality amongst the students as they were online and again with solutions that the children came up with. I think we believe that with all these programs uh, related to SDG 10 that we started in our school, uh, we, are, we will continue to take part in the community transformation programs and we'll continue to aim to continue to implement the sustainable goals and we'll be coming up with solutions, creating awareness and taking it a step forward by enabling digital access for all in the process that seems promising enough to encourage individuals to do their bit in saving the planet as we can. And I can ensure all our panelists here, thank you so much. In the future too, the school will continue to contribute towards the community development programs and helping sustain, helping develop a sustainable society. Thank you so much. Uh, Zahida, yes, please. I believe uh, Zahira is also not there. Uh, so can we have uh, Ms. Futi's presentation? Uh, she's been trying hard to join. I hope she joins now. If she's not able to join, we'll be requesting the moderator to please uh, present it. And if even uh, the moderator is not there, Sharda, would you like to present? Please unmute yourself and say otherwise, uh, maybe I'll have to go ahead. Sharda, can you do it? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Definitely. Please go ahead. Uh, yes. Please. Thank you so much to all the panelists who could join us. Uh, on behalf of Ms. Puti Ragofala, I would like to go ahead with the school story that she had presented. And here they are working on the bridging the gap between the have and the have not. Yes, we are working on SDG 10, reduced inequalities. So that makes a great school leader. And as we all have heard, she is a wonderful techno granny, as popularly we call her. So they have set values that makes great leader, empathy, respect, honesty, reliability, the features which she feels or the specialities, the qualities that one should have in a leader who believes in logo in parents and they believe in their parents and the students and have lots of empowerment there. So these are a few pictures which they had share, she has shared with her in her presentation about the employment that they could provide during this pandemic time to the school children, especially to the parents. And they said food employment, school fees and uniform, they could help them who are coming from the economic background states. And in their school, uh, in their school compound itself, they have these stocks kept, which is being distributed on and off to the people, to the children of the school and to the outsiders as well. It's a wonderful job that they are doing. Uh, here, these are the parents who are being uh, taught and focusing on the larger community. That's again SDG 10, reduced inequalities. The unemployed uh, people who were there, they were being trained under her supervision. So these are the children. She has shared wonderful pictures. We could see the involvement herself. The ICT teaching and learning in rural schools, which is the need of the hour, as it is said. University of e-learning centers. Thank you, Futi ma'am, for the wonderful work that you are doing. And this, oh, that's great. We could see her home as well, which she is using very well to educate these children. 
so she does not believe in the empowering only one age or something children students community teachers everyone is taken along for the development of the ict skills during this pandemic great job done puti ma'am wow when we could see small children who are able to understand the value of being able to use uh, different platforms learning on how to produce own food using my backyard and water wow that's great so she's contributing for making these children learn oh we can see a small child here who is able to read out and express himself or herself the skype sessions going on even we had several skype sessions with her thank you ma'am for empowering okay so this is about the multivalency values this is the video a wonderful view of a 3d mover great tools being used the ict skills and yes children very much love these 3d viewers when we are able to show it to them during the remote learning sessions they are a great help to us we are able to reach our children as well it's a animal 4d app that she has used here in this uh, in this slide specific basically yes ma'am do we have the slide that's great for all the contributions so as uh, we say here sdg 10 which is the 10th episode and the reduce inequalities so their school is also focusing on the uh, developing of the overall development of the parents students everyone here thank you for team ma'am for the contributions we appreciate thank your work thank, thank you sharda for thank you uh, sharda for uh, sharing ms puti's presentation in a beautiful way and thank you all the panelists who shared their stories who shared their stories with us on sdg 10 now i'm going to invite the soul of this whole uh, project uh, rise up for sdgs ms paramjit kaur welcome ma'am please over to you now Thank you Zahida you have been a fantastic moderator we are so proud of you thank you dear all the panelists you all found some time and you were here uh, challenges of uh, uh, the technical uh, nitty gritties were here and there but yes we plan to do it in 60 minutes and i think we are able to do it and now i would request uh, my fellow facilitator bushra ma'am to please uh, tell us about the tweet meet which is uh, there on sunday thank you so much uh, paramjeet ma'am assalam alaikum good morning afternoon to everyone and a big congratulation to the whole entire team of we rise up for sdgs for holding another episode despite all the challenges and made its mark from the platform of we rise up for sdgs yes congratulation once again and as always we never end here we wrap it up discussing with you all you all are invited people are here in this tweet uh, in this session and the ones who are watching on the facebook live session they all are invited in the tweet meet uh, discussing with you and the extended global community of educators and everyone who is uh, willing to discuss around sdg 10 it will be on sunday 23rd may Uh, it's 8 p.m. Uh, Pakistan time, 8:30 p.m. Indian time, and 3 p.m. UK time. We'll be discussing four to five questions, and we would request you all to retweet with the hashtag "We Rise Up for SDGs and SDGs Warriors." So we'll welcome you on Sunday. See you there. Don't forget to join us at 8 p.m. PK time, 8:30 IST time, and 3 p.m. UK time. Thank you so much, Paramjit ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I must tell that Footy has been trying all the while, and I was on WhatsApp with her. Rather, the rise of SDG team was there even in the panelist group. We were telling her try again, try again. She was very much with us yesterday. but just could not make it sometimes there's power cut and uh, power shut down she's from africa and uh, we are missing her badly 
uh, we were uh, we have been in touch with Futi for the last uh, maybe eight, 10 years, and she has been a great leader, a school leader, and she has been a great Skype master. She she, as I told you, she was in the top 50 Varke Foundation teachers, uh, which means a lot. Uh, I'm sure Futi, we did miss you, but your presentation we did run. And ladies and gentlemen, it's 6.59. We could do it again. Uh, session after session, the target is that let's value everybody's time. If it is 60 minutes, it needs to be just 60 minutes. So thank you for lots of uh, um, uh, collaboration with everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the uh, to all the panelists, uh, to uh, to all the panelists when it comes to the virtual art gallery newsletter, to the keynote speaker, Queenie, and of course, a big, big, big thanks to Samalt Patak who, who just got well after this COVID and he was all out here with us. Thank you, Samalt. You are an idol when it comes to SDGs. Thank you so much for always being a torch bearer. Tons and tons of regards to you, Samalt. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, now what happened, the 60 minutes are over, but we still chat for five, seven minutes with everybody. So, so it's all right. <laughs> we can go ahead. I can see Lee. How are you, Lee? So I can see Dr. Sharif also. We can have the, yeah, the large art gallery. And Swati, thank you so much for joining in spite of you being so, so very busy. And Selvam, I'm looking for your, um, SDG presentation, life below water. You, you, I know you are into it. The marine biologist over there. So yes, ma'am. I am. I am also I eagerly am. waiting for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a day to keep, right? Yes. <laughs> and nice course. to see you. And uh, hopefully uh, by the time, by the time yeah. I'll be in India too. <laughs> okay. All right. That's so great. And yes, uh, Vidrana, thank you so much for joining. And Dr. Sharif, you're there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Queenie, for joining us. Thank you, Usha Ji, for joining. Uh, we have uh, Pooja here, and I don't know she's raised her hand. Yes, Pooja, you want to say something, please? Go ahead. If anybody wants to say something, just unmute yourself and speak out. This is the informal family uh, chit chat. <laughs> So, Noor Maldania, you Maldana, I hope I'm pronouncing. Please speak out, unmute yourself and speak. Those who have raised their hands, please. Ah, come on, come on. And Nadia, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, honorable one of the panelists, Swati again a panelist, and Ranjana a great contributor. Thank you so much. Nirmala, I'm so, so happy to see you, please. Oh, you are a gem. Uh, please, uh, we can speak. Let me not do the talking. I would like to hear everybody now. Pratisha, I have a question. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you see that spoke about the planters app? in her presentation just yes ask, just wanted to ask everybody use that app is it just limited to but is that sounded amazing to me that app yes. which the children use for that plantation that plantist app it sounded uh, really interesting uh, yes. can everybody access that all children everywhere i just i'm just curious to know Yes, we can. I'm sure Sharda would be able to answer that. And we had this uh, mock session yesterday when she talked about it. She said that the, the poor children, uh, they have a typical name for uh, students, and I'm missing that name. She said that those students who are poor cannot go to the zoo. So uh, they show all the animals inside using it. Yes. Yeah. So, I, so I would like to say that the app is very much available on the app store, and there are some final things that the children are doing. Uh, and this app is very useful in UAE because uh, we have a lot of scarcity of water, 
and keeping that in mind we are ensuring that we don't waste water so we have people who would like to sit in the comfort of their homes and ensure that their gardens are watered so if they could look into the app the app would provide them a particular time and a particular day and the amount of water that the plant would be needing because of the climatic conditions that we face in uae so this was uh, a very uh, this project was uh, this particular app application development by the students of 10th standard took around 4 to 5 months and they were continuously studying uh, on to making different changes in the app because we wanted to completely base it on the climatic conditions as available in uae so that's the reason uh, you know the app had to start in september but we could not and eventually we went on to start it in december and we will be now using it in the months of uh, june and july because it's pretty hot here in the uae and most of the family members and parents have been introduced to use the plant so that apply uh, the plantist app so that they can uh, you know understand what uh, what is the amount of water needed for most of the plants and continue to do a forestation it's one of our visions in the school each one plant one and that's how we are propagating the same thank you so much thank you that's so thank good you. daisy that's so good i took it that uh, maybe swati was asking about shooty ma'am so i'm glad you could clarify it that's so thank nice. you so much thank you um her backyard yes. garden was also beautiful putty ma'am's backyard garden and her own yeah. home space for uh, educating the children empowering the children that was also wonderful uh, yeah i believe we had some technical problem she actually had a farm where she would uh, have all the people planting and they would sell so that the value system also go ahead uh, maybe we'll share it in the presenters group otherwise also in the messengers or the whatsapp group her presentation so that all of us can see the full thing as such can i have a say uh, before yes. i go uh, i must say uh, swati ji said the backyard garden was very good i would say this uh, microsoft team garden is very very good and beautiful with so many flowers across the globe from uk from taiwan uh, india uae pakistan and uh, sri lanka malaysia i'm so happy to see you know so many known educators and with every passing episode that this family is growing and you know it's really an overwhelming uh, for me and of course for everyone so uh, so many educators uh, we have uh, we are connected with and inshallah it will promote aur wo kehte hain na nazre badur ye aise hi family grow kare aur aage badhti rahe Thank you so much, ma'am. I got to go, and Please I really go. wanted. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah, Nadia. Uh, thank you. I just wanted to Nadia. say that it's such a pleasure always. It was so wonderful to attend today's meeting. I wasn't able to do it in the month of Ramzan, but today, I mean, everything is revived. All the presentations were wonderful. and it's always good to see you all and it's always uh, good to see you paramjit ji with all your energy <laughs> thank you <laughs> yes i think nadia wanted to speak for quite some time yes please go ahead yes, nadia no uh dear educators uh, i am happy to be present at the session again and every time when i listen to your presentations i feel very humble because i think that i live in uh, so i am from russia and i live well maybe in some um maybe fortunate environment maybe i don't face so many problems and my students neither do my students but when i watch the hard work hundreds of educators are doing around the world tirelessly i don't know if you sleep enough because you have your school classes and you do so many projects and you do them so seriously with so many um, activities uh social uh, networking so i'm always uh, just uh, wondering uh, so i'm always grateful to you as great change makers you are real change makers you make a difference not only in the school but in the uh, whole community environment so in the global world so that's why my greatest gratitude and thanks to you thank you my dear partners thank you nadia but we see you all over collaborating with everybody and conducting workshops and training sessions and webinar we are so proud of you you are one of our dear panelists i remember that thank you you are one of the sd goalkeeper Yes, uh, Selvam has raised his hand. Selvam, what would you like to speak, uh, please? Ah, uh, 
Yes, not much, ma'am. But of course, uh, I always uh, like to, even though some of the things I couldn't able to attend, but I'm really uh, following all the uh, things happening with the SDG things. I'm really happy to see how the whole world is uniting together and working along with you. And I'm also glad to be a part of it. So uh, that is the one thing I have to say. And uh, today also it was really interesting. Uh, and yet another thing, I will have to leave now because I have another meeting to attend. So okay. thank you all. And I'm glad to see you all, uh, my friends face here. <laughs> so I don't have to space say specifically the names because most of you are my friends. So glad to see you all and uh, have a good day. Thank you, ma'am, for the uh, thank invitation. You, yeah. So thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This, this is an informal stay back. Right. This is not a mandatory stay back. We all can stay and interact and talk around. And yes, if we occupied Selma, we can definitely go. I can see a dear friend of mine, Prabjot Gill. Prabjot, how are you? We are so glad to have you. We saw your students uh, uh, contributions. Thank you so much for looking yeah, into that. This was a wonderful session. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying all the presentations. And thank you, Paramjit, ma'am, and all the educators who have put up their lovely um, school stories. Lot to learn and lot to share. And it's really nice to be part of this group. Thank you, ma'am, and thank you, all educators. Thank you. Thank you. We have Sunanda also here. I believe she also wants to speak, say something. Yes, Sunanda, you've raised your hand, please. Good evening, everyone. I hope I'm audible, ma'am. Yes, you are, uh, dear. I, I, I just, uh, like, I'm really, very happy to be part of this uh, because of, you know, ill health. I couldn't, you know, I was not able to speak up. Uh, I was just listening last week. One, I think I was not able to attend one in the month's paper when I was, wasn't well. I was severely ill. But now I'm back. And this time, uh, I think TPS Varanasi and Nashik Lava Nagpur, we tried to, uh, you know, motivate our children and the number has increased. Children have started taking a lot of you know, interest and now they're getting. So, uh, hello, am I audible, ma'am? I think. Yes, you are. And your pros. students' work is just fabulous. So colorful, so bright, so meticulously done. I remember yes. all the paintings. Yeah, especially this time, uh, there were, I think, more than 30 children from primary wing. We tried to encourage them, though it was a holiday, summer vacation. But our children, they, they were so good. We were actually not expecting with parents. We were thankful to parents. They also did a lot of, you know, uh, like, I, I must appreciate uh, our parents also. So, ma'am, just one in, uh, request, if it is possible. I know the teachers, those who are involved in framing these beautiful activities, uh, they are doing such a wonderful uh, work. Uh, but, you know, like what I was thinking with our team, uh, me and Kajal, man, we are the part, and Swati and Vidya, Megha, the teachers are the part of the SDG team, the PS family. So we were just thinking if we can get these activities uh, like uh, beforehand so that we can plan and we can keep this in our lesson plans as well. So sometimes uh, working with these small kids, if it is already planned, then we will be able to, you know, uh, help our kids produce in a better way. Just a request, ma'am. So, Nanda, it's such a wonderful and a fabulous request, you know. Running a school with 100 teachers, nearly 1,600 plus students, preparing these activities in every time a unique and a new activity yes. is such a challenge. Yeah, uh, yes, we are learning yes. as we are moving. So actually yes, we haven't planned. And if we take two days to plan it out, you know, you have to sit for at least three to four hours both the days to make yeah, sure it's I not understand, <laughs> Yeah, so, yes. So, and if we don't put it by Tuesday, you know, sat after this, Saturday, you just have to relax because this is a pretty pretty challenging task to have all the international speakers and then really, you know, every really. So you just can't do anything. You're drained out on Saturday. And then Sunday, we have the tweet meet. Monday, we plan it out. Tuesday, we share. If per chance we go late, we find that the contributions are already pouring in. Because we say yes. anybody can put anything related to it. But specifically, okay. we'll try to do it on Sunday this time. Maybe by Monday, I'll be able to uh, do it. But uh, uh, but uh, I'll keep I, this I, in Thank you so much, ma'am. I, I know I'm putting... 
It's just a humble request, ma'am. It's just a humble. I know. I we we understand planning such a wonderful activity. You know, it's all actionable, and children enjoy a lot. It takes a lot of time. Yes, Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Just Thank keep you. it in mind that the primary children should have something to do. The the yes, elementary children something and senior. But maybe in between the two sessions, we'll think of the future goal. No, once yes, we give that, yes, then we relax a little bit and focus back again on the school. But I'll, no, no. I've taken it, I've taken it in uh, in a stride with all uh, positivity, and let's see if we can yeah. do something. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, all right, Ranjana. Yes, you've raised your hand, dear. Unmute yourself, Ranjana. Ranjana, unmute yourself. Good evening, everyone. Uh, ma'am i want to ask you something here like um, now actually what happened i don't know like uh, i i am really like very uh, you can say i'm really laughing at myself only like now what happened my students they are promoting the thing like we have our in our school one teacher who is working on some project so they just tell their friends and neighbors to contribute for the project so this time i took i think one project that was on time so i gave so is it possible like if i get from other school students and uh, is it possible like if i want to put that work leave no one behind it will be very nice if you put the work but let the name of the school be there it is yeah, all right work, uh, the name of the school should be there which school they are from they'll be happy if their school's name is there you can do as many and then you know the uno says leave no one behind okay so as okay. many people can join this sdg journey the better it is all right the students we'll keep on calling ma'am yeah uh, ma'am you are from sarla villa so one of my friend from your school this this class told me you are working on some project so am i really like can i contribute i have made something so just you guide me i will be doing and really they are like so quick in their work they send me the work so i will be doing it ma'am and one yes. i think i have contributed this time so maybe i did not see it in art gallery because it was only one so i hope next time <laughs> so what happened your your pictures were not there no ma'am that only one picture with the other school students sent me that i could not so see in the art gallery one picture of the other school in future yeah, even yeah. if it is a single picture let the name be there and we'll put the name Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Even for a second. Thank you. And uh, Aparna, thank you so much for all those lovely messages which you sent in between to me. I needed all those messages. Thank you. <laughs> and Nirmala, thank you so much for being such a wonderful uh, support along with Swati. And yes, Pramod, you've raised your hand. Please go ahead. Congratulations and tons and tons of compliments to the great work you're doing and how meticulous you are. Your team keep. On appreciating promote sir, as they do. Promote sir, as they do. Promote sir. Wanted to say thank you. No, ma'am. You please, please don't uh, address me like that. I'm, uh, you know, uh, embarrassed actually. I just call me promote. Uh, it it uplifts my spirit. <laughs> no, no. So just wanted to thank you right for now, such a great platform. So, so for, right the platform for the platform we. we could uh, listen to uh, samarth pathak sir today and uh, for that i'm saying thank you that uh, we are uh, uh, having opportunity to, to listen to different educators from all corners of the world and that's very good and though we like i uh, this year uh, this was the year that i uh, explored sdgs but still there are many and this is a kind of you know the another uh, world's largest lesson where uh, uh, we are uh, learning to uh, not only learning what are, what are, what is the sdg but what can we do that we are getting to uh, know from different educators that okay this is the sdg and these are the activities that can be related to uh, that so for that uh, i'm uh, saying you thank you for the wonderful platform Pramod, I did not say sir to you. I was saying your team says, Swati Bakshi says, Pramod sir is very good. He's he plans meticulously. Nirbala Devi says, Pramod sir is very good. I was no, saying sir call, on their behalf. They call you are my son. It's a declared fact now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for joining, Bitter. 
you all really motivate me so much i feel so good when all of you are there and even in the group how how you encourage each other when you put your students creation and swati is so busy i see her uh, the moment i put my mobile and pick it up there are already 250 messages in fanlish whatsapp group i was wondering is so aise kaise manage karti hai and there are same questions and like again and again and again and she has developed the she is a role model when it comes to patience and she keeps answering them beautifully so that's so good ma'am because you mentioned uh, swati ji i would just add here that she receives up to 300 to 500 messages every day but she answers to every message that you send if you send her a message separately and i am in total awe i i i just wish if i had that power nobody would be upset with me because so many people are upset with me i don't reply on time and then i see people like swati ma'am and amazing totally amazing but it's the same with you paramjeet ma'am uh it's so inspiring to be connected to you all i am um, not able to join every time there's a meeting and it's uh, just really uh one of the my, my losses really that i can't be there every time there is a meeting but whenever i see you all whenever i join you all it's so inspiring so motivating and thank you so much for for that you know just for encouraging the you don't come to me and tell me that i better go and do this but to see you all doing it it encourages me and makes me like yes i have to go and do something as well so it's fantastic to have this community i am so blessed to have made connection with you all and uh, to uh, to have you all in my life in a way really but i love how you see aparna when you start a project of your own then you will come to know okay uh, i think we both were speaking so i love the parna 